Let us talk about using air chart to highlight specific sections in your chart. Okay, so when you are showing 12 month sales using a line chart, so you can see over here, we have this line chart, right? And then you want to highlight certain values within the chart, okay, to make them stand out. So in our example, we have the second quarter, right? And then the fourth quarter, where we want to highlight them then this is where an error chart would really come in handy. So you can see this one, this is pretty cool because you could see this error chart being highlighted over here and then it's just bordered right by the line chart. And then we have another section as well for October until December, right? And another section over here. And how do we do that, right? So let's go over our data first, right? We have our data over here. We just have the sales data, okay? And then we're going to be using a third column to specify which sections are the ones that we want to have our error chart highlighted. So in our example over here, we have the values populated would be for April until June, right? Which is our second quarter. And we have October until December, which is our fourth quarter over here, right? Which is why we have our values. We'll see in a short while on why we need this third column, okay? And how do we use this? Let's get started and I'll just select the chart for now and let me just delete this, okay? And then let me just delete the values as well so that we can create this from scratch. Now, enter the values first on where you want to highlight on a separate column, right? That is next to sales. So the one that we mentioned a while ago, right? We want this, so let me just copy this over, okay? And then we also want this, right? to be shown in our highlights, okay? So let me just say this is just your highlights, right? Okay, so we just copy pasted, or we just dragged it actually to the right, copy pasted the values for the second quarter and the fourth quarter. Now, let's select the first two columns, the month and sales column, right? And then let's insert a line chart. So to do that, let's go to insert, recommended charts, and then let's just go to all charts and select the line chart. And this is the one that we want, okay? Looking good, let's go okay. Now let me just make this a bit bigger. Make sure that you've clicked on the line chart and then drag this one over here to include the third column as well. So I'm just dragging this to the right, okay? So you can see that there are some changes and it reflected as well, okay? The one that we're trying to highlight, which is April into June and then October until December. So you could see this one over here, okay? Now, let's make some changes to our chart. So we just need to right click right on this chart over here, this line chart, and then let's select change series chart type. Okay, now we have the sales, right, and the highlights. So we have both of them over here, and here's where the magic will happen. So we just need to go to line, let's just change this one because this highlight is still a line chart type. So let me just change this, and let's go to area over here, right? If you select this, this is where it starts to happen, okay? So we have our area chart now over here, go okay. So if you want to change the color for this one, for example, just right click on your air chart, click format the data series, and let's go to fill over here, right? And then we can just change this to a different color. So for example, if you prefer the color yellow, then we can just change this quickly, okay? So if you just close this, it's looking good at the moment, and now you have your air chart combined with your line chart. G'day, it's John Michalus here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com and I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And Finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos. 
which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice and you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q&As. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.